Hello and welcome to the third Java programming video. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload videos lately, but I finally got time on my hands and I will hopefully be able to start uploading more frequently now. So anyways, in this video we are going to create a simple application or program that is going to type out a message in our log. First of all, I'm going to start by creating a new package. We're going to store all the class files for this project. I'm just going to name it video free. And keep in mind to have it in lowercase because if you have it in uppercase, it will still work, but the standard is to have everything in the package name in lowercase letters. So just try and stay with that. And we're going to create a new class file which is basically where all of our source code will be placed and they're actually going to be the code that is running during the game. So the standard procedure when you create a class is the first letter should always be uppercase. So I'm going to name this to vid3. And basically if your class can consist of more than one word, you basically put it in a big uppercase for every new word. You can say vid and then free instead of a space because you cannot have spaces in your class files or names for that matter. Anyway, when you create it over here, you will see your package name, which is video free, where it is located, and just the standard code that comes with it, with it public class vid free. You need this for every class. Well, there are exceptions, but I'm not going to show you them now. Now we need a method, and a method is basically something that you can run from other parts of your code. And that is very useful. So there is one method that we need in order to run our game, and it is called a main method. And this is how we create it. Type public static void main string args. You really don't have to know what this means at the moment. I will cover it in on later videos when we start working more deeply with with when we start working more with methods. But basically, it means that this main method can be reached from every class file inside your project. So everything we put inside of here will be run when we actually run the application. What we're going to do now is. We're going to create an object out of our class that is named vid3. Basically, this will allow us to call methods inside of our class from our main method. I will show you it fast. So, type out the name of the class file first, followed by the name of the object. So, I named this object prog, and it will inherit all the properties and methods from our class, which is vid3. Then type new vid3. Basically, that is how we create an object. And we're actually going to create a method in within our class. And we're going to type in public void program. Basically, this is the code that is going to. Basically, this is the method that is going to type out a message inside our log. And it's really easy to do, you just type system.out.print hello. And then in order to run this method, we simply do prog. Since we, am an, we have an object of the class vid3, we type prog followed by dot. And then, we, we, and then we find the name of our method, which is program. And basically this means that the method will be executed. I'm not going to run the program and you will be able to see it. At least I hope so. Yeah, as you can see, we tap out in the console hello, which we typed over here. We could just call the method again if we wanted to, typing hello twice. And we could, al we could also change this method into print ln, which basically means it will print out the text on a new line or actually the next text on the new line, as you can see. I'm just going to show you some examples fast. So we have a print over here, let's remove print ln, and then 
add system that out dot print lm world and this will actually be on the same line even though we have a method which is print ln over here but it does it doesn't actually start on a new line until after this method as you can see let's see hello world so if I were to remove this and I print ln over here the next the next text would be on the next line as you can see and I could have an print ln over here too but it would make no difference since we don't have anything else out in the console there's also another way to start a new line within our method we could type going to remove, remove print a backslash and an n which basically means a new line and then hello world Ta -da! so yeah that was pretty much it all for this video I showed you how to create an object and how to run a method within our class or our object it was pretty basic but we're going to start creating more complex programs later on for example in the next video I'm going to show you different variables so you'll actually be able to do some calculations and add numbers together and such so yeah that was all for this video hopefully you liked it if you like my channel and my videos please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up and share them if you feel like it it would really help a lot so yeah that was all for this video and bye bye